process of me cooking the food because hopefully hopefully we are gonna cook something special today not the regular south indian food which we make at home uh, i thought of switching up a little bit and cooking something special today so i thought of filming this particular process i really hope that you enjoy watching this vlog and also uh, learn something from my recipes which I'm gonna show it to you guys if you are doing it if you're making these recipes at home do let me know in the comment section below and also uh, if you can tag me on Instagram I'll be super duper happy to know that you have tried my recipes uh, so all the recipes mostly are gonna be very very easy and uh, very cooking friendly so I'm actually doing very very important thing which we all should do at this particular time i'm actually listing out uh, everything which i have the groceries and all uh, which i have uh, in my uh, pantry and i'm actually listing out what i needed for another like 10 to 15 days so let me show the list for you guys okay here is the list so i have segregated two different sections one is the what we have we have all of these and I have actually put the quantities also how much we have so that we can uh, think of the recipes which we can prepare from all of these and apart from that we might need all of these so uh, yeah so I have listed that also if you haven't done this step please do it guys it is very very important to do uh, you have to utilize all the things which you have in your home uh, utilize every other resource completely then go and buy new stuff um, so yeah let's get started for breakfast I'm actually making pasta this is very street style Indian sort of pasta uh, which doesn't need a lot of effort so I have actually put the water for boiling I've added uh, salt and oil in the water I'm using penne pasta this is the pasta which I'm using so penne pasta is actually very much good for uh, Indian sort of recipes because for Indian people it holds lot of uh, sauce in the pasta so it is very comfortable for Indian people to use this kind of pasta other than any other one so I'm using this pasta and let us get cooking now I've put the water for boiling and added some salt in that adding very little bit of oil so that the pasta doesn't stick to each other now add the required amount of pasta and leave it to cook Once it's done, we are not actually looking for al dante pasta here, completely cooked. Then you can remove the water and keep it aside. Then I'm gonna chop some veggies, mostly onion, tomato and capsicum. You can add any other vegetables also like broccoli, carrots, some beans also if you wish to eat with pasta. Then in a pan add some oil, add onions, then saute for a couple of minutes till it gets a little bit transparent.
then I'm gonna add ginger garlic paste a little bit and saute for a couple of minutes. Now I'm gonna add tomatoes and capsicum and saute for a couple of minutes till it gets a little bit mushy. Now I'm adding some salt. Once it's all cooked, I'm gonna add a little bit of chili powder, almost a tablespoon of chili powder according to your taste exactly. Then a little bit of pepper, I like adding a little bit of pepper to the pasta so I'm doing that. Then now I'm gonna start adding the sauces, first the dark soya sauce and then vinegar and then I'm gonna add tomato and chili sauce. I'm adding the pasta to the mixture which we have prepared now and gonna mix it thoroughly till every other pasta get completely covered with the sauces and the mixture which we have prepared. At the last I'm gonna add Shazwan chutney. I really love this particular taste because it's very Indian kind of pasta you can add this uh, Shazwan chutney if you don't have one you can uh, put a little bit of tomatoes and uh, red chilli in uh, the mixture and use it as a sauce. pasta and it looks yummy look at it i'm actually serving this in a bowl i'll show you the process Good evening guys, uh, we just uh, went out for a couple of things, uh, we went uh, to get our uh, my mom's medicine mm, and uh, we came back and it was really amazing to just go out for a little bit like 10 minute drive. Uh, it was really nice to just go out and see outside world because we were staying at home for almost what almost two weeks right now so it was really nice to see the outside world uh, here there is not a complete lockdown in here uh, there is a curfew between 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. so in Sharjah especially people can go out for emergencies or for work uh, if needed uh, between uh, between what 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. but after so many days we just went out it was really really amazing to just see outside world because from almost two weeks we are just seeing our our just our faces and the four walls of the living room washroom kitchen and bedroom and all so it was really amazing to just go out I just wanted to share it with you guys so yeah
एंड वेन वी वेंट आउट वी आर वेयरिंग मास्क इट इज़ वेरी वेरी मैंडेटरी टू वेयर मास्क वेन यू आर गोइंग आउट इफ एनी थिंग इमरजेंसी गो आउट इफ नॉट जस्ट स्टे होम डो नॉट जस्ट गो आउट फॉर अ वॉक और समथिंग इफ देर इज एनी इमरजेंसी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बाई सम मेडिसिन और ग्रॉसरी देन गो आउट डो नॉट स्टेप आउट साइड गाइज इट इज वेरी 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 सीरियस पैंडमिक सो प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड स्टे होम डो नॉट स्टेप आउट जस्ट टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ गाइज दिस इज वेरी 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 सीरियस सिचुएशन राइट नाउ सो स्टे होम Okay, coming back to the dinner part. Uh, morning, I had pasta. I hope you had seen it right now. Uh, what I had in the morning, but afternoon, I I didn't have anything because the pasta itself we had it at twelve o'clock or twelve thirty. It was like a brunch kind of a thing, so we were not hungry. Uh, after some time, my mom and dad had uh, some soup, like lentil and pepper soup. I didn't have anything, so I didn't shoot anything for you. Uh, but now we are all very very hungry, and Rakshit is also home. So I'm cooking pav bhaji right now. It is very special dish. I have uh, prepared it couple of times when we both were there, but I'm cooking for them for the first time. So yeah, it is very special recipe and. a very easy recipe also i have actually learnt it from uh, one of my maharashtrian friend uh, she have uh, taught me this particular recipe in a very very easy way and uh, the process is very easy guys but the process is little bit time taking because we need to cook every vegetable nice so that we can mash it very nicely so it it's little bit time taking like around 30 minutes to 45 minutes apart from that the process is very 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 easy i really hope that you like uh, watching it and if you are preparing this recipe do let me know you can use any veggies uh, which are uh, in your fridge i'll take you through the process let's go Added all the veggies into this cooker and adding water, which is required, and salt. Then I'm gonna mix completely everything, and then I'm I'm gonna keep the lid and uh, let it cook for almost three to four whistles. Once the cities are done, I'm gonna keep it aside and take another pan and add oil and these chopped onions. This chopper is from Prestige. It is a savior, guys. It chops like it gives very finely chopped vegetables. You can just add rough pieces into that and bam! Within couple of seconds, it gives finely chopped vegetable, which is so savior. Now I'm taking this ginger garlic paste and I'm gonna add it to the uh, onions and saute for a little bit. Then I'm adding these finely chopped capsicum and uh, sauteing for a little bit for a couple of minutes. Then goes tomatoes. These are like finely chopped, which is very very apt for this pav bhaji recipe. And then I'm gonna let it cook for a couple of minutes till it gets mushy and well cooked. I have also added the salt in between and let it cook for a couple of minutes. Then I'm gonna take the smasher and I'm gonna smash everything now itself. Once the cooker pressure is released, I have removed the water and have taken the veggies and smashing it completely till it becomes this kind of paste. For the sauteed veggies, I'm going to add a little bit of chili powder and dhania powder and I'm going to add jeera powder also and give it a stir and let it cook for a couple of minutes.
after few minutes i'm going to add pav bhaji masala it's your wish like if you wish more masala to the uh, pav bhaji you can add more i like medium sort of flavor so i'm adding a uh, 2 tablespoon of pav bhaji masala and i have closed the lid and let it cook for couple of minutes everything is completely cooked and now i'm going to add the mashed vegetables to this and give it a stir now i'll do one thing the water which i have removed at that particular time when i have smashed the veggies i'm going to add the same water and mix it and let it cook for more time so that it completely merges and become the bhaji for the pav bhaji वॉचिंग इट Uh, the vlog. Uh, this is my first attempt in shooting what I eat in a day kind of video. So I really hope that you enjoyed watching it. Do let me know if you have tried any of the recipes which I've shared in the video. Do tag me on Instagram. This is my handle. Please do follow me there. And if you like this video, do like it. It will make me happier and it will actually boost up my energy to uh, make more fun videos for you guys. And please do not forget to subscribe. subscribe to my channel guys it will mean the absolute world to me and it will be it will it will it will make me super duper happy so please do subscribe and uh, do let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section below definitely i'll read it and reply to all the comments please do leave your thoughts in the comment section below so yeah that is it for today's video i'll end this video right here right now i have to go on shar um and prepare lunch and all uh, so yeah that is it for today's video i really hope that you enjoyed watching it i'll see you very very soon until then take care guys i love you guys bye